Section 5.5 of James Stewart's calculus textbook is on a very important um, method for integrating, and that is the substitution rule. A key method in integral calculus it is to substitute a simpler function that you're trying to integrate uh, for a more complex one. Sometimes you can end up with an integrand, the thing you're trying to integrate, that is very scary and complex looking. If you can find a way to substitute a simpler um, uh, function uh, for a more complex one, uh, then you can, you can go ahead and integrate and then go back and substitute uh, what you had simplified uh, in the end and lo and behold you, you've done it. Uh, it's much easier to show in, a, in terms of a s specific example than it is to talk about in the abstract, so let me, let me um, get a little further into it. Now, in this vidcast, we're talking about doing this for indefinite integrals. It becomes a little bit more complex with definite integrals, so we'll do a different vidcast for that. But, and, and even showing you in this form is going to be a little complicated. Uh, when we get to a concrete example, it, 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 it clicks, I think. But basically, what we're saying here is that let's say that you, are, are, you have a, a compound function uh, of some sort that you're you're trying to integrate. Uh, let's say that of this compound function you have um, you have a the, the function within a function let's say that the function within the function uh, let's say that the derivative of that is also present somehow in what you're trying to integrate so g prime is the derivative g prime x dx is, is the that is the the uh, the basically the derivative of of this little piece in there, uh, uh, almost. So basically, if we if we substitute u for gx, then we have du here, and so by putting it in the form of the integral of f of u du, we are able to integrate more simply uh, than in when it was in its complex form. Again, it sounds very confusing in the abstract. Let's get let's take a specific example. The integral of 2x times the square root of 1 plus x squared dx. Now this works. Uh, this is a candidate for substitution uh, because the the derivative of of this this bit in inside 1 plus x squared. The derivative of 1 plus x squared is 2x, uh, and so. Um, we have a 2x here. See it? The t 2x is right here in front. So 2x dx, here if we, if we multiply-ish the, the, the differential here, both sides by dx, we end up with the uh, d of x squared uh, equals 2x dx. And there's the 2x dx. Um, and so we can substitute, we can make u be 1 plus x squared, and therefore du will equal 2x dx. Look, I've got, I've got the whole thing. So now I can, I can substitute. And so when I'm trying to find the integral of 2x times uh, the square root of 1 plus x squared dx, that becomes the integral of the square root of u du. And I, I put it um, u to the 1 half power. That's the same as the square root of u. So you see what we've done is by substituting, by making uh, 1 x plus 1 plus x squared, making that u, uh, we have found a way to, to make this, inter put this integral in a much more manageable form. Now I can do that. The integral of u to the 1 half power, the integral of the square root of u to u, that's easy to integrate. I mean, I can do that really easily. The 2x times the square root of 1 plus x squared, that was, that was scary, scary, scary. But I know how to do this. It's very simple. It, it integrates to be 2 thirds u to the third half power, uh, which, of course, now I can substitute. Uh, I can go back and, and pick up that uh, 1 plus x squared. Uh, remember, u equals 1 plus x squared. I can go ahead and plug it in, and there I have the answer. That is the, the integral of, of the the of 2x times the square root of 1 plus x squared dx. It's going to be 2 thirds times uh, the square root of uh, 1 plus x squared to the third power. That's, that's u to, to the 3 half power. See how that worked? It, it's excellent. Uh, and so the, the substitution rule is very, very helpful uh, in integral calculus. 
And so this vidcast has been on how to do it for indefinite integrals.